Hey guys, it's Anne at Plant Obsessed, and I'm checking in on my restricted space bins. I've found that it is just easier to dump them out than to try and dig through there and see what is going on with these guys. They seem to be a little bit less stressed out when I do it. It's a lot faster and cleaner for me. So, dumping out the bin looking to see what all is going on. Gonna kinda put all of the adults I find in one corner, see if I find any uh, little ones. Looks like they've still got quite a bit of banana to go through there. Okay, so found four adults and a banana. This is the one that has been struggling the most. I don't see where the population is getting any bigger. It might not be falling, but I don't think it's getting bigger. Well, maybe. I think this is going to be a very long time coming down to any sort of... Uh, I don't think they're restricted enough, really. Emily's experiment. I think that this is, if the African nightcrawlers can still reproduce in those bins, then I think that this is nowhere near going to be restricted enough. Not immediately seeing any cocoons. It's really hard to see in the leaf matter here. So I'm just going to put them back in, give them some water, Looks like they haven't touched that banana since left last time too much, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. I will get the next one and bring you back. Okay, and we're back with the middle bin, and this one is doing better definitely than the smaller bin. Moisture's better, finding more worms right off the bat. I think I see a cocoon that's broke open. I may not be finding any actual cocoons, but this appears to be a juvenile. So... You gotta be doing something right in there. I'm not seeing any of their food left over. I think just in general this bin has been doing better. Is that an African nightcrawler egg? What the heck? That thing's huge. You see that next to my thumbnail? Holy cow. Looks like a beach ball next to the other ones. And as this is shredded leaves that should not be any of my, what I call, miracle grow eggs. I'm going to put that back in there. So it appears that my inability to find African nightcrawler eggs is finally finished. Must have paid my dues or whatever to the worm gods. There, no, that's a rock. Don't you hate that? Look at that. Ooh, no, rock. Still got some squash seeds in there. But this is just the moisture that I would like it to be, whereas the other one was definitely a little dry. I went and made cardboard cutouts. I don't want them to have a lid lid. Looks like their banana is still intact as well. But I would say that this is still holding true, that this bin is much healthier. Wait, there's another one. What is it, Christmas? There's another one. So this is in the medium bin. Two ginormous eggs. Is it just me or is that not an African nightcrawler? That is a Euro. What the freak? All right, well, he doesn't live in here. He, he, now, I actually put these guys on the opposite sides of the room, so 
I do not know how that happened. If I had to suspect, I would say that it was probably uh, just cross-contamination with me not completely washing my hands between bins, if I had to guess. Oh, there's another one of those eggs. I think I will give this a bit of a feeding. Yeah, all the rest of them that I'm finding are definitely African night crawlers. It's a little troublesome that it's a full grown Euro. All right. Well, I would say by far and away, these guys are doing better than the previous bin. I didn't find any eggs in that one and I'm finding all the adults in this one, so. Not to mention the cocoons. How exciting is that? I feel like I won the lottery. Well, I don't know if they will do their flashy thing for us on the camera. All right, well, I will put these guys back and bring you back when I get the next one out. Okay, this is bin number three with the largest amount of material. And let's see, I'm finding the worms right away. They're looking much, much healthier. Let's see, you see the flashy thing? This one in particular seems to be doing it. in the corner here. It'd be nice if I could find some cocoons in this one too. They sure have uh, definitely like hanging out with that with each other. There's a real little one. So I might not see the cocoons, but they're here somewhere. Yeah, that's a good size one. Looking at how big they are. That looks like another damn euro. Bugger. Part of me kind of wonders if you know, I have been using leaves for these guys, and I wonder if there's any European night crawlers in my yard. I know it's much more likely that I screwed up and cross-contaminated my own bins, but... Well, they're certainly doing much better, even if I am not seeing any cocoons. We saw that little juve... Wait, wait. I take that back. There's one right there. So I don't know, maybe it's easier for them to find each other in the smaller bins, but they don't seem to be as healthy in the smaller bins. Well, it's a shame I can't, you know, see any of the really big cocoons, but whatever, we're happy. I will turn you off and bring you back when I've got the food ready. All right, we're back and we're gonna feed these guys. Um, gonna give the, the little bin one scoop of the gruel, just like uh, everybody else. Kind of fashion these cardboard to maybe try and keep the moisture in a little bit. And the gruel is, it's, it's bananas and coffee and Mangoes, apples, bananas, usual mix. Gonna give them all the same thing, even though you know, they probably are a little different just based on the health of everything, but I'm gonna try the cardboard on the top and see if that doesn't help with the moisture a little bit. 
I think the leaves maybe just don't hold the moisture that well. All right, well, that is the end of that. If you liked the update on this experiment, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to see more experiments in general, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Uh, but other than that, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms, and you guys have a good night. <laughs>